Welcome. In this video, we're going to review the different types of flows. What is a flow? A flow in BAB is short for workflow. Flows allow you to streamline a process into a sequence of steps so that when set into motion, everyone involved gets updated and everything on the to-do list of that process gets done. There are five different flow types in BAB, each with their own predefined templates. New hire, employee onboarding, employee updates, self-service, and a leave flow. Within each flow category, admins can create as many flows as they need, based on conditions such as company site, employment type, or geographic location. For example, you may need one onboarding flow for full-time employees, another for part-timers, and another for interns, and maybe even a different flow for interns in Sweden versus interns in Australia. Each flow is completely customizable. You can include specific documents to be signed, approvals to be requested, task lists to be added, and more. Once a flow is set up, you can track every stage of the process. Let's get started. The new hire flow is used by admins prior to triggering an onboarding flow. At this stage, the admin will fill out fields and categories in the new user's profile and enable or disable features, such as tasks, time off, benefits, and more. By enabling these features in the flow, you will save time by eliminating the need to manually assign them to employees in the future. Next is the employee onboarding flow. These templates are used to invite employees to log into BOP prior to or on their hire date, but they will have limited access until their first day of work. That's when access will be open to new hires based on roles and permissions. Once an onboarding flow is triggered, it generates a welcome email, inviting your new hire to complete their user profile, get familiar with the organization, and meet their team. Now, we've arrived to employee update flows. These flows were created so that admins and managers can make changes to employee profiles. For example, initiating a promotion flow, which may require updating an employee's title and salary. Self-service flows, on the other hand, are designed to allow employees to make changes to their own profiles independently. For example, initiating a flow for an employee to change their bank details and set an approver to approve those changes which will then be reflected on their profile. Last up is leave. Leave flows are initiated for a permanent or temporary departure such as termination, sick leave, parental leave, or placing an employee on leave of absence. Where do approvers come into the picture? Employee update, self-service, and leave flows may be set up to have no approvers at all, or to require one or more people to approve changes. For example, a promotion flow may include an HRVP, direct manager, and CFO as approvers. Who gets notified? Once the flow is approved and completed, notifications can be triggered for everyone involved. How can you add a task list to a flow? Task lists can be added to the end of flows in order for a specific set of actions to take place. For example, a task list may be sent to the tech team to enable software for a newly promoted employee. That's all there is to it. Delegate and collaborate through a streamlined decision-making process with flows.